Hi guys, so I thought I would get a coffee and a tea subscription and just show you what's out there um, and my experiences. Now I have had two completely different experiences with these two companies, one being a coffee company, one being a tea company. Um, I'll get into them and, and, and tell you what's been going on. So the first company is Varieties. Now I subscribed to these three weeks ago didn't receive anything from them and then I got an email saying they were going to take another payment so I messaged them and said well why are you going to take another payment when I've not actually received anything and they messaged back saying well we send our deliveries out on the first of the month now I think I subscribed at the end of the month so I was thinking oh right okay they'll, they'll send it out the first of the month but then I messaged back and said well if that's the case and you are going to send my first delivery out at the beginning of the month why are you making you know why are you taking another payment from me they didn't reply, which was a bit strange. And then today, which isn't the first of the month, it's the end of the month, I've received it. And when I've received it, I don't know whether you can see, but there's two first class stickers. There's one here. And then if you look down there, there's one there as well. And what they've done is they've stuck my address label over somebody else's address label. So I think they may have sent my box out to somebody else. They've sent it back. And rather than repackage it when it's come back, they've just stuck another label over the top, which would be fine. But I can actually see all this lady's details. I can see her name, her address, her postcode, and I can see her account number. I find that incredibly unprofessional and worrying from a company. Um why they've done that i don't know whether it's a cost saving exercise i don't know but i find it incredibly risky and i will not be ordering from them again purely for that reason because that worries me so that's that now this is the variety that you get this is a monthly subscription and it's i think it's 4.95 a month and you get 15 tea bags so that comes like this and you open it up and you've got your tea bags inside Try to show you without them all falling out so we'll go through them really quickly and um, you get organic lemon green tea that's that one you also get a salted caramel green tea a birch oil lemongrass and ginger tea that one you get a taylor's english breakfast tea you get a London Fruit and Herb Company Rose Hip and his Hibiscus Rose Hip and Hibiscus tea. That's that one. Next one is a raspberry and pomegranate tea. That one sounds scrummy. Next one is a rosemary tea. There's no brewing method on this one, and it's all mainly foreign writing, and it has written premium on it. I don't know why they've done that, but that's that one. Next one, this one's falling out. This is a whiskey tea. And this is from the tea, Edinburgh Tea and Coffee Company. It's that one. Next one is a Heath and Heather, and it's an organic, organic, organic. It's an org, organic. Oh my goodness, Joe! Why do I do it to myself? This is an organic chamomile tea. That's that one. Next one is just a Clipper tea, and it's their Fair Trade tea. So that's that one. Next one is. An organic chocolate tea. That one sounds quite interesting. That's that one. Next one is another London, London Fruits and Herb Company and it's a green tea with cherry. So that's that one. Next one, this one sounds really scrummy. This would be nice as an iced tea with strawberries and mint. This is a Dorset tea and it's strawberries and cream. That does sound really nice. Next one is a Tea Pigs Trim Metabolism Tea. That's that one. And the last one is a peach and rhubarb, another one that would be nice as an iced tea. Peach and rhubarb from the London Tea Company. And that's that one. So there's some really unusual teas in there. And if I hadn't had the... Sorry, I've just knocked the camera. If I hadn't had the issues that I have had um, with the company so far, then I would probably buy from them again. But considering what they've done and the fact that they've given me somebody else's details that worries me so i probably won't buy from them again and i probably will e email them and tell them to get rid of my details because that to me is quite worrying i know the camera's been a little bit 
niggly a minute ago, but this is about the hundredth time I've filmed this today and everything keeps going wrong. So you're just going to have to cope with it. It's Saturday, kids are off school. So just bear with. So we'll do the next one, which is the Packed Coffee Company. Now, I get a degusta box every month and in my degusta box there was a £5 voucher. Normally when I get my subscription boxes and I get vouchers, I don't bother with the vouchers. I tend to just put them in a drawer or they'll go in the bin and I never bother with them. But I got a £5 voucher for packed coffee. I love my coffee. I can't function in a morning without a coffee. So when I got this, I was really interested. So it's packed coffee and... It's £7.95 per bag of coffee. You get a 250-gram 200, bag of coffee. With my £5 off, it's only cost me £2.95 for the bag of coffee. I mean, for a large jar of branded coffee, you're going to pay around that. This is freshly ground coffee. You get two vouchers for clothing subscriptions. That's not a voucher. That's just an advert. So that's that one. And then you get one for thread, and it's £20 off your first order. That's that one. And then you get a little card that says Planalto, and it's pronounced Planalto, and it says it's grown by Sergio and Marisa Mantavanini. I apologise if I've got that wrong, and that's all your coffee information on the back there if you want to read that. And this is your coffee. Now, on the offer, I should have got the coffee, and I also should have got a little contraption that goes on top of your coffee cup that you pour hot water through. You put your coffee in, it's like a little thing there's a picture of it there that bit on the top not the bit on the bottom just that bit on the top it sits on top of your coffee cup and you put your coffee in that and then you pour the water in that and it drains it it's like a filter i should have got one of them for free but i haven't actually received it now this company i have emailed a couple of times and their customer service has been spot on and like i say they've sent this out within 48 hours so i've emailed them and told them that i've not received it and i am quite confident through dealing with this company over the past week or so that they will send me one out because their customer service is probably one of the best that I've had. So this is your bag of coffee. There's a writing on the back that tells you all about the business and, and what the owner believes in and the coffee inside. Now I've got to say this is probably one of the best coffees I've ever smelled. It smells insane. It's just, you know, I could just like an absolute lunatic just sit here smelling the bag of coffee all day and I would be happy. It smells so good. Oh, it smells good. It smells so good. So that's cost me £2.95. I'd pay £7.95 all day for that. The only thing that I would say is I didn't see an option on the website there's loads of different flavoured coffees. The one that I've ordered um, has got hints of chocolate milk, chocolate malt milkshake in it. There was cherry bakewell on there. There was all sorts of different coffees. And I didn't see an option to order more than one at a time. Um, it would be nice if you could order more than one at a time. And there's also, you don't have to do it monthly. You can, there's like a, a dial and you can pick how often you want your deliveries to be. I've picked weekly because I drink coffee like it's going out of fashion, but you can go from daily to weekly to monthly to however long you want. You can tailor the subscription and how often you receive it to yourself, which I think is really good. So as far as packed coffee goes, I think it's incredible. I think I will put the code down below, the Degusta Box code. It's just Degusta Box in capital letters. But I will say, do not go through the Facebook link if you want to use the Degusta Box code to get £5 off. Because if you go through the Facebook link, it won't accept the Degusta Box code. So you have to put it into Google. Go through Google, go on the website, and then put the code in at the checkout. I also have a code there, which I will link down below for you which also gets you £5 off, that will work whether you go through the Facebook link or whether you go on Google and, and do it that way. This is well worth the money. So, yeah, between the two, between varieties and, and packed coffee, the actual teas from varieties, I don't have an issue with. They're really nice teas. The idea of it is really good. The customer service and the way they've handled things, I think, is terrible. So for that reason, I won't be buying from them again, which is a shame because some of those teas sound really interesting. Packed Coffee, their customer service is 
great no issues whatsoever in fact they couldn't do enough for me and i will definitely be ordering from them again so if anybody knows of any tea subscription boxes that we could do that have got really good customer services that aren't going to behave the way that varieties have behaved as far as giving other people's details out then please comment down below and and tell me what they are and i will unbox them for you but as far as packed coffee is concerned that is probably one of the best companies that i've dealt with and their coffee is insanely good i mean it's good coffee if you're a coffee buff then you need to check them out none of these companies have sponsored me i've bought these myself but i will big up packed coffee like crazy because their coffee is so good i mean it's so good so that's them too um, I have another budget advent calendar, a toy one on the way, so I will probably be doing that next and the dog's tail mail is on the way as well, so that will probably be done as soon as it comes. So I shall see you soon. Bye.